Hello and welcome back! I am Lord Ravenwork, this is Civilization V Historical Recreation, World War I Edition, World War I Centennial Anniversary Edition as Serbia! And it feels like so long since I've recorded this. Um, last we left off, I was talking about my exams, my finals. I got through them. Not sure how I did yet, but I think I passed all of them. Anyways. Anyways, it's been a few days since that. This video is getting out a bit late. Um, I was trying to record it yesterday, but there were delays due to technical difficulties. Um, that being said, there's the possibility you guys may be hearing some electrical buzzing noise. I say there's the possibility because I haven't been able to definitively figure out whether or not the buzzing noise is being caused by the headphones in my headset or the mic in my headset. Yeah. It turns out I'm really bad at taking care of my headsets. They break all the time. Like, just upstairs, I've got two dead ones lying on the table where I usually keep my computer when I'm not recording. And plus a third one, which is starting to break already. So, there may be an electrical buzzing noise, there may not, I don't know. I turned up the fan a bit higher to drown it out in case the electrical buzzing noise is on the mic end. Though I kind of think it's on the, um... The headphone end, but whatever, whatever. Uh, besides that point, um, shit, I don't even remember where we were when I last left off. Diplomacy overview. Am I at war with anyone? I don't think I am. I uh, no, I'm not. Right, I just finished up my war with Japan. Which, uh, did take its toll on me. In fact, I've only got a few turns before I go into, uh, into debt. Which, not great. Bomber sleep, atom bomb sleep, infantry, rest, bomber sleep, infantry rest. Yeah, this, this, I think, is going to take a while. Um, right, I have one of these guys. I presume I was probably planning on taking over another city-state. Jesus, it's just been so long, I can't even remember what I was doing. Well, what city-states are there left to take over? Window, Rock, and Kazan. Where are they located? Kazan is a bit too distant. Window Rock is even more distant. Yeah, I, I'd... Oh! Damn, his relationship with Window Rock actually dropped down to... ...beatable level. So what about with Kazan? Shit! Oh, wait, no, what am I thinking? I'm looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, yeah, I was looking at the wrong metric. He's, um... Usurping those two is going to be very challenging. But anyways, I do really... Really need to get the money from uh, this, like, as soon as possible. So we're going to move this guy down. I presume some of the cities I've conquered... Uh, their resistance won't be lasting much longer. Okay, so Kagoshima's resistance ends next turn, which means I should be getting back some money. At the moment, I'm not actually sure what that amount of money is, but, um, besides the point. So... It's been a few days since I last recorded, I already mentioned that, um... I- oh, a paratrooper. That could be useful. And I'm gonna quick save, because I've come to the point where I just do not trust how well this game works in conjunction with Fraps. 
And now, next turn. So, um, what have I been doing recently? Oh, I've been reading, uh, Homestuck, which is this awesome, epic webcomic, um, uh, over at, uh, MC Paint Adventures, MS Paint Adventures, rather, um, It is seriously, seriously an awesome webcomic, which I would recommend the fuck out of. Seriously, I just uh, finished watching the, um, the animation at the end of Act 5, and I have no idea what was happening there. But it was so fucking awesome. When it ended, I, I shit you not, my, uh, my lip, my bottom lip was quivering uncontrollably, and I was perspiring very heavily. So much that I, um, I felt I needed to get a shower. A towel. Fuck. I, I screwed that joke up. Well, not like any one of you is actually gonna get it without, you know, reading the webcomic. There's a character who, um... Who sweats profusely. Whenever he, uh, gets sexually aroused, and every time it happens, he, um, he says he needs to get a towel. So that's the joke. Character was kind of an asshole. And he's dead now. Which is too bad, because by that point in the, uh... Story, I'd gotten to the point where I was generally sad to see it happen, even though he was an enormous asshole. So, let's see, what is the job that we have to take care of right now? We need to deal with two problems, the loss of money and the poor happiness. And I would say money is the highest priority. Because this happiness, the worst it can do is cause uprisings. Which are... incessantly annoying... but not really very damaging in the long run. So what do I need to do? Well, for one thing, we need to stop building anything that's going to cost us money. Are there any money buildings that we can put here? No? Then go for the castle instead. And actually, I'm going to need... Can't stop that one. Ew. That thing's too expensive. Get me instead a castle. Unless there are, like, money buildings available. But that doesn't look like it. Who else? Who else can we... Sophia is building infantry. We definitely have no money for that. Make me a wall instead. In fact, I think some buildings I should, uh... Some cities I should start putting on... Money focus. Like, for instance, this one that's already really heavily, uh, defended. Though I think there's still something left that I can grab. I'm not seeing it, though. Well, anyways... Oh, wait, I just realized it was actually building the, uh... the thing I wanted. Okay, well, you can go on to wealth production afterwards. 
arsenal, that's okay. Can't change that. Atom bomb. Those things I mentioned are incredibly expensive. So instead, let's put it on hold and bump the wealth up to the top of the uh, queue. This, I think, is going to take a little while, so, um... That's a money building. So let's see, what have I got to talk about in the, uh... The meantime? I mean, I continue talking about Homestuck, but I'm weary about spoilers. I mean, I suppose I already dropped a spoiler, which... Not super great thing to do. Um... We're getting a hotel in Belgrade. Doesn't appear to have any... Upkeep, so I'll allow it to be built. S Wait, what about my exams? Right, I was actually planning on giving an update about those, as I recall. So... Let's see, what about my exams? Can I, uh... Can I discuss? Okay, so the first one... I had, which was on two weeks before Tuesday. Uh, was the exam for my dreaded AME class, Analytical Methods and Engineering. The really, really hard one that I had this semester. That one I spent, like, hours studying for ahead of time. Even though that time spent studying should have been hours longer. I went in panicked. But I had spent more time studying for that exam than I had for any other exam that class. And I think, in the end, I, uh... I pulled through and had a halfway decent grade in there. The next exam happened... Wait. Did I say the AME exam was on Tuesday? It was on a Thursday. It was like... You know what, whatever, the dates aren't important. The following exam I had on a Monday, that was for my Spanish class. And I've been trying to learn Spanish because, you know, I want to know the language. But I am very terrible at it. Oh, that, that is not good. We've got a computer for uh, World Victory. <sighs> Apollo program. Can't allow it to be built. However, very fortunately for me, I border Washington. I can just redeploy my troops up to the Corinth Pass and uh, eliminate the competition for victory. Which I'll probably do later, but not now, because I've got bigger issues to deal with. Anyways, second exam was last week Monday, my Spanish exam. That one I also spent a lot of time studying for. Um, that one I think I was even more nervous going into, because it wasn't an easy subject for me to study for. I'm never good at remembering nomenclature, and that's sort of a problem when you're trying to learn a new language, because it's almost entirely nomenclature. Computers are like Old Testament gods. Lots of rules, mercy. 
Yes. Um... And that one... I honestly have no idea how well I did. I knew I needed to do good on that exam because my grades in that class weren't, um... Incredibly... Excellent to, uh... To begin with. Um... I think I did good enough to pass, though. Though I'm not certain. There was... Not as much guessing as I usually have to do on uh, on those, but still on my Spanish tests, but still kind of a lot of guessing. Um, let's see, what else is worth mentioning? Ooh, I can get the Great Firewall. In fact... I think that that is what I want to start building in Belgrade. And what happened to the hotel that I had under construction here? Wait, did it get built? I mean, I was kind of hoping that I could delay that. Yeah, there it is. Whoops. Whatever, I'm, I'm not too concerned. Um... Right, and then... Okay, so so my Spanish exam was at 5.30 at night. And you don't really like late-night final exams. Um... Because... You know, it just... It, it... How do I explain this? I guess you could say it digs into time that you don't really like to be dedicated to um, exams. And final exams are two hours long, right? So that means it ended at 7.30 at night. Now, to be fair, while you don't like late night exams, um, there are far worse time slots, particularly early morning time slots. Why do I bring this up? Because my next exam was the following day at 7.30 in the morning. Now, I live a county away from where my um, university is located. So, the bus ride is pretty long, 90 minutes. So, in order to actually reach my 7.30 in the morning exam on time, I'd need to leave home around 6 o'clock, which is earlier than I usually get up for class in the morning. And keep in mind, if my Spanish exam ends at 7.30 at night, and my It's a Digital Logic exam starts at 7.30 in the morning. That gives me only 12 hours to study, most of which I didn't even have because I really needed to sleep during that time. So I had like less than four hours to study for the Digital Logic exam. But luckily that wasn't a particularly hard class. Um... Turns out I probably should have studied because there are a few um, questions about these topics we discussed um, pretty late in the semester, which I hadn't given myself full time to comprehend. I mean, I mean, it was a, a Verilog uh, design language, and as a language, uh, particularly a technical language, I'm talking about, um, they're not really that hard as long as you actually know them. My problem was that I did not actually know it. And, oh shit. Yeah, that's not, that's not ideal. Um, though actually it looks like the uh, Rodnovary should be catching back up before too long, just because of the intense amount of 
strength behind it. Yeah, but still, I'd been doing really good in that class to begin with. I'd gotten, like, perfect scores on a number of exams in that class already. So, even if I lost a lot of points on those last two uh, questions on the exam, the one ones that had to do with Verilog, it's almost certainly not going to cost me enough to actually hinder my grade any significant amount. And then the final exam. Last week Thursday. This was my, uh, computer science class. Um, and I've found over the years that I have a real knack for, uh, for computer science. So, that one I was not worried in the least about. So, I didn't study, and probably lost a good p amount of points on that exam, which I really didn't have to, because it's very easy, uh, material for me. And is 10 the most amount of units, air units you can have on a city? I don't think I've ever reached the maximum before. Um... Anyways, yeah, um, I wasn't really worried on that one. I probably lost some points unnecessarily because I didn't study, but even at that, I there's no way I lost enough for it to actually make a difference. So, um, I managed to get through exams. I probably managed to do it without uh, screwing myself over too badly. And... Yes. Buy my blue jeans. Listen to my pop music. I am the greatest culture there is. The culture of me. Do as I say. Like what I like. Dislike the things I dislike. Or else. There are actually few things that I legitimately dislike though. I tend to be very, um, very forgiving of crap. I actually like, uh, shitty stuff. Um, recently I watched the first two Sharknado movies. And I have to say... Oh my fucking god. That was so amazing. I mean, seriously, just when I finished the first one, I was left completely speechless. I, I, I didn't have anything to say because I didn't feel like there was anything I could say that would uh, put justice to the insane series of unimaginable events I just watched. I mean, just, just let me put into wor words how crazy this movie was. The final scene involved the main character jumping headfirst into the wide open mouth of a falling shark with a chainsaw and carving his way out of its hull, dragging out another character who had previously been eaten after falling out of a helicopter into a sharknado. What the fuck? It's like... It's like there are no words to describe... No words to describe that kind of thing. And all through the movie it was just filled with, uh... with wooden acting and poorly delivered one-liners, like the kind there would be at the end of an 80s movie, or 90s movie. I don't know, I, I can't keep my decades straight. Whichever one had the, uh, the one-liners in which all the movies ended with. Yeah. And in Sharknado, they, like, had a... The characters had a one-liner for, like, 
every single event that happened in the movie. Like, you hit a shark with a bar stool, you say a crappy one-liner. You, uh... You literally blow up a tornado with a bomb? One-liner. I... The point is, the movie was incredibly shitty and incredibly awesome because of how shitty it was. Which is why I loved it, really. Anyways, I haven't been keeping track of the time, but I'm presuming I've run out of time for today. So, until next time, I am Lord Ravenwork, this has been great, and I will see you all later. Bye! Sink. Oh wait, no, I, I did that wrong. Hit the wrong key!